With your sports on demand for Saturday, December 8th, I'm Alex Klein. It's night two of the home and home series between Northern Michigan and Michigan Tech Hockey. The Wildcats won in their building last night, so would the Huskies do the same at the MAC to split the series? We will pick up the action in the first period with the Wildcats, a man short. Tech's power play, Trenton Bliss. He gets it to Seamus Donahue. His pass deflected in front and passed Ate Tolvanen at 8-17 to give the Huskies a 1-0 lead. Six and a half minutes later, Wildcats turn over the puck. Houghton's Ray Bryce gives it to Justin Misiak, his third goal of the season, and it's a 2-0 Michigan Tech lead. The Wildcats respond, though. Luke Volton casually risks the net, deflected by Mitchell Slattery, past Robbie Bay Dune at 1638, and the Huskies still up 2-1 after one. Second period, Huskies on the power play. Jake Lucchini, Dylan Stamen, and Trenton Bliss. Quick shot, beats Tolvanen at 1344. Michigan Tech has the 3-1 advantage. From there, it was very good goaltending by Robbie Bay Dune. He made 28 saves as Michigan Tech gets the split 3-1. I mean, I think we put together a full 60 minutes. Um, you know, we uh, had a tough night last night uh, in Marquette. And uh, we came out strong uh, right from the puck drop, and you know we, uh, you know Northern came out came out flying too. They were they're a really aggressive team, and I think we responded uh, pretty well the whole game. Both teams are home next weekend. Michigan Tech entertains Alabama Huntsville, and NMU greets Ferris State. Other scores from around the league down in Alaska last night. Lake Superior State took down the Nanooks four to one. Tonight's game just got underway, and tonight. Bowling Green takes down Fair State in overtime 4-3. Basketball now, NMU women hosting Wisconsin Parkside. Second quarter, Lexi Smith. She takes it herself past the defender and lays it in. Two of her 12 on the day, NMU leads 26-16. Third quarter now, Wildcats lead by 16. Elizabeth Lutz over to Tess Weatherly. Drains the triple, Northern up big, 46 to 27. Fourth quarter, NMU putting on a clinic. Taylor Hodell inside, goes a, to work against the defender. Spin move and off the glass. She had a double-double, 13 points, 10 rebounds. And the Wildcats going to win, 72 to 39. NMU men also hosting the Rangers this afternoon at the Barry. First half, Wildcats sw swing the ball to Isaiah Johnson. He stutters and... Gets the fade away to drop NMU up by six. Less than three to play in the half now, and Naba Eccles, he's one on one with Adam Bonk. Couple moves, and he's going to go for three and gets it, drains it. The senior had four long balls on the day, and NMU up big 40 to 18. 12 minutes left in the game now, and this is a pretty play right here. Isaiah Johnson, quick pass inside to Miles Howard, huge dunk and the foul. He had a career-high 14 points, and NMU goes on to win 77-67, and they're now 7-1 on the season. Kevin Luke and Michigan Tech men also in action. Played very well in the last four minutes of the first half and led by 13 to start the second against Purdue Northwest. Brian Heath. Led Tech with 21 points, two on this drive. Next, it's Isaac Appleby. He finds Rhinelander's Owen White. Strong move to the basket. He had 14 points on the day. Appleby, he passes the ball to the right place again, this time to North Central's Dawson Bilski. He drains that three, and he had 15 points. Appleby sees Jake Witt in superior position, and the Ewan Trout Creek gets the big dunk. Witt had eight points, and next it's Carter Johnston and Tierran Powell. They combine on this basket in the Huskies. They win it 78-62. Nagani's Trent Bell led Tech with 14 rebounds. To the women now and coach Sam Hoyt and her team looking to bounce back, hosting Purdue Northwest as well. Houghton Sloan Zenner united the Tech attack in the first quarter. She takes the pass from Cassidy Trotter and buries the second of her three triples in the opening 10 minutes. Zenner had 12 points, six rebounds, three steals, and three blocks. Cassie Trotter wasn't that far from having a triple-double. Number three scored 17 points. Two of those there grabbed nine rebounds, dished out eight assists, and had three blocks. And next, Trotter finds Ellie McKay, moves past the defender and hits the jumper. 16 points and four assists for her. Tech led 40-25 to 25 at halftime. Third quarter, Cassie Trotter 
Abby Botts to Ellie Welsh. She had a trio of triples. Tech made a dozen as a team, and they're back in the win column with a 79-54 victory over Purdue Northwest. Some other scores on the women's side. Lake Superior State falls to Northwood 69-47. And on the men's side, the Timberwolves take down the Lakers 91-83. The Bay College Norse, they take down Milwaukee Area Technical College 75-61 for the women, but the men, they fall to the Stormers 98-70. And Gogebic Community College, Lady Sampson's, they defeat Lake Superior College 76-51, but the men can't get it done against the Ice Hawks. They fall 91-45. And in girls high school basketball, Marquette throttles Petoskey 46-14. The Northmen only had two points in the first half.